Well, greetings, you two model people. How is it going? Okay, it is Saturday, February 4th, 2023. Yeah, it's already February 4th, guys. So imagine that. But um, coming at you here with a quick shout out. Um, a stash ads of two kits that I've gotten. And just a general kind of overall update of things. And uh, that's about it. And what do you know? We're not on the road this time driving around like a crazy person um, amongst the crazy traffic here in northern New Jersey. But anyway, so just the uh, let's just go with the general update first, because I think this is important um, because it kind of tells you where I'm at right now. And that is, as I've told you probably for a while in the last few updates, um, work has been pretty crazy. It's been mentally consuming because it's our busiest time and it gets stressful and there's deadlines and, and all that kind of stuff. Now, hopefully, I'm thinking pretty much going into this week will be the last little taste of that. Um, not even the whole week because uh, most of the work is behind us now. But um, so things will hopefully normalize a little bit, uh, just a little bit, and that'll make things a, a lot better. And will give me more time, not only more time to model build, uh, it'll also give me more mental strength to be able to model build because honestly, I was getting to the end of a work day and I just didn't feel like doing hardly anything. I just wanted to do nothing, right? So, um, yeah, so hopefully that little change will do. Also, the end of the holiday, I was helping my mom with a bunch of stuff. We put uh, her decorations in her house and everything. We, we, we kind of organized stuff differently and put that all away and uh, you know, took time to do that. Um, and then, you know, really the only break I got away from all those other things in life to do some hobby stuff was last weekend, the last weekend of January, which was the 17th annual Facebook 24 hour build. And, uh, that was hugely enjoyable. Um, I really had a great time and I encourage, as I said many times, all of you to give it a try sometime. Uh, it was, it was definitely, uh, fun and I got lucky with weather. It was looking pretty rough there. It looked like it was going to be very cold um, and maybe really challenging for spray painting, but it actually ended up being perfect. So um, can't complain one bit. <coughs> and my project, excuse me, came out very well. And I finished within 24 hours. So that's pretty cool too. Um, kind of a bonus. But I figured it took me about 12 hours of build time, maybe slightly less, but uh, with all the breaks I took and other things. Um, and sleep. Um, I don't stay up till three or four in the morning uh, anymore. I, I did that a couple of times. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And again, encourage you all to, to participate someday. So hopefully, what I'm trying to say is guys, I've been kind of out of the out of the routine and the mojo has been a little uh, hit or miss because I've just been uh, mentally and physically in some ways busy with other things. I even strained a muscle in the back of my shoulder blade, left side, and uh, that affected my swimming. I did that the first week in January. Um, and uh, so basically I've been trying to get that back to normal and back to health. So again, it's just been a handful of things that we've been, been dealing with. But anyway, all that aside, here's our shout out. Uh, this channel on YouTube I just came across literally uh, less than an hour ago. It was Gross Models. Gross Models on YouTube. And um, what I was doing is doing some research for an upcoming build in March, I believe. There will be the 2023 Bandai kit group build, I believe, uh, as it's been in prior years. Um, I don't think there's been an official uh, video yet, but um, if so, I have a project picked out. I've had it picked out for a while. And this is the guy, this channel was the first one that came up that showed the project that I'm planning to build. I'd like to get just a little bit of a clue as to what I'm gonna get into. Uh, with a build and uh, this guy is a very high quality channel. He has over 5,000 subs, so he's definitely well established. Um, I believe he's based in the UK, but again, I've just learned of him. So um, yeah, uh, definitely check him out. He's right now he's working on a, I believe it's right now he's working on a 1.8 scale 4 GT. The, uh, and I believe he's gonna do the Gulf livery. I'm not positive, things mammoth being 1.8 scale, right? Pretty cool, um, so yeah. Uh, now, as far as my um, one of my on-the-road updates, I said I was going to the hobby shop. I had to get a bunch of things for the 24-hour build, which I did, paints and such. 
and uh, we were kind of joking about whether I was going to pick up a kit or not. And, uh, you know, a few of you had some great funny comments uh, about how, how could you not, you know, you, it always happens. And you know what? You're absolutely right. I ended up picking up this kit. Uh, something quite different. Um, it was only, and again, local, you know, hobby shop, mom, pop, hobby shop prices. It was like 21, 21 bucks, um, which isn't bad, actually, uh, if you think about it. So uh, this is the CH-47D Chinook. I always wanted to build a Chinook. Um, this one I'm a little, maybe slightly disappointed with, with decals because it's very minimal. It just says the, um, you know, United States Army on there and has a couple of things. But this is all plain and there's nothing up here. Very, or it's black decals, right? So anyway, uh, but that's fine. I mean, that, that's what it is. That's what it is. What intrigued me though, and why I bought it, um, is two things. It was one, the scale. I thought that was super cool. Um, I like small scale stuff. So this, this is neat. And then this, which is level four, you're thinking, okay, maybe that's because of scale. But actually, I think it's because of what's even more intriguing is this. 104 pieces, 104 parts in this little guy. So quite something, uh, certainly should be a challenge and uh, you know, uh, some fun for sure. So there you go. I did end up folding and end up buying a kit even though I said I wouldn't. <laughs> so now this next kit, literally, I haven't even had it in my possession 24 hours yet, but I saw that somebody was building this as part of the 24 hour Facebook build last weekend. Now I didn't see updates in the finished model, but I saw the kit this person picked out and I thought it was pretty cool looking. I don't know why I just, you know, things again, lots of stuff I do. It's just, I think it's cool looking and that's it. I don't know anything about the, the people who drive the cars or the history or what type of engines or anything, nothing. Just think it looks cool. And that's this one here, which I'm trying to, I have my, uh, phone, camera, whatever you want to call it, on a tripod to try to keep it from bouncing around too much like I usually do. So it's AMT Plymouth uh, Valiant Scamp. I don't do these kind of cars. I don't think I've ever done a, a car like this before. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was super cool looking. Um, and yeah, you know, just something different for sure for me. And I got it right off Amazon and it was, you know, uh, fairly priced. It, um, and yeah, I don't think I would build this as part of a 24 hour build, but, um, the box got a little disheveled, but didn't affect any of the parts inside. Here's the back of it. If you guys are curious, see the porch trees. Um, so yeah, very cool. So that's what we have for stash ads. Um, finally projects that are in the works or whatever it be. Um, you can see, you get a quick peek of my uh, motorcycle build. It's right here. Just got glued here uh, a little bit. Sorry for the weird angle. So that's got to sit for a while and, and set up nice and solid so we have no issues. So we are progressing, albeit very slow. We are progressing. We do still have, sadly, the uh, ongoing build of the um, auto car dump truck AMT. Auto car dump truck is part of last year's uh, big rig group build. I think I'm one of the last people to be done. Um, I think our venerable host, Jeff, is also still working on his, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's working on the Scania, which is quite involved. So again, uh, we got to get back to that one. And then I have my Fred Henry appreciation build. As soon as we get a break in this ridiculously cold weather we're having right now, uh, we're going to finish that one up. Not too much left to do on that. And then I want to get into my zombies one. But then we have the small scale group build also going on in February. We're doing the 1930 um, Victoria. Uh, and yeah, and uh, you know, quite, quite a bit going on, guys. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm kind of jibber jabbering here a bit. Um, just realized something I have to do here today. Uh, so that being said, hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're staying safe with this insanely cold snap of weather we have here. Good thing is it's not going to last very long. Uh, at least up by here in the Northeast, it's going to be back to crazy nice temperatures um, into the 40s, into the mid upper 40s uh, up here. 
So that's good news. And again, just be safe and, and um, you know, heed all the warnings. I think in some areas the, the, the current temperature was like minus 15 degrees. So that's pretty, pretty brutal. So again, be safe out there. Hope you guys are finding uh, time to get to the bench, work on your projects. Uh, and that's it for now. Okay, cheers.